Hello guys, welcome back to my channel or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica and today we're going to be going through my August everyday makeup basket and shop my stash. It's it's uh, like I guess routine at this point to be like, oh my god, I can't believe it's already August. But if anything, I think July has felt like the longest month <laughs> in this year so far. March felt long, but July just because of the heat and because I'm in an attic and because of the heat. I hate summer, honestly. <laughs> it's like my least favorite season, so I don't like July. So anyway, it's felt like a long month and I'm excited to change all of this out. So formalities, if you have not seen any of my shop my stashes or everyday makeup baskets that I do every month, I'll have the playlist up in the cards if you want to check it out. But let's go ahead. We're going to first clean out my July everyday makeup basket and then we'll go shop my stash for everything we're going to be using in August. All right, so up here on the top, I've got my lotion, I've got my setting sprays, which are lasting a lot longer than I thought. Well, actually, this Milani one, just about empty. I'm excited to finally use those up and get them switched out so I can do something different. I've got my lotion and my cuticle oil. That does not change. I did, however, get this Duval... Uh, Sonic Facial Brush in PR, and I'm really excited to test this out along with some skincare that'll be coming my way soon. So I'm excited to test this out and uh, do a video on it. So I'll keep that here just to remind me to actually use it as it comes up. And then we've got a bit of a mess over here with this. All right, we've got my eyelash curler that is going to stay. The eyeliner from Pixi that is going to go back into my collection. And quite honestly, I do need to clean out my eyeliners, my eyeliner drawer in my collection. It's hot mess <laughs> i'll put it that way i'm gonna move out these fenty lipsticks that i picked out i wore like two of them if i'm being honest i just i really honestly have not been wearing lipstick like at all recently i'm so bad at it now so we'll keep this okay we'll keep this brow gel this is the abh brow gel and this is the nyx control freak brow gel that i love but it's literally like almost empty i have to scrape it every time so we're going to recycle that, or not recycle, we'll put it into my empties drawer for my next empties video, and I'll just keep the ABH brow gel there, along with my cuticle pusher and my little, uh, what is that called, a spatula <laughs> to clean out products. I'm keeping my NYX glitter glue because I love it, and this is only in month two of the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, so that will stay. This is actually almost empty. This is the Aquaphor Advanced Therapy Lip Treatment. And that's why I brought in this Blistix. I, just, I love Blistix, it's really good. So I kind of have them there until I run out of the Aquaphor. I used all of these and I wasn't really super impressed. Well, these ones, I was actually pretty impressed by. I'm gonna keep them um, to the side for my next green lipstick and black lipstick videos. But these, I was just like, eh. This is a lip balm from Milani that I thought was, again, just like meh. This is a black lipstick from Maybelline that I thought was just like, eh. <laughs> so I'm gonna move all of these just back into my collection and then I'm just gonna keep this one because I really didn't get to use this one that much. This is the pure uh, lipstick I got in my last Try Beauty box, which is the little card that is back here. I think the last thing I have up here are these band-aids. I totally messed up like my uh, right side, uh, was it my pointer nail? No, I think it was my, yeah, I think it was my pointer nail. I like totally broke my nail to the point where it broke on the nail bed and it was really painful. So in order for me to like work from home and type, I had to wrap it in band-aids. So now I'm just gonna keep some band-aids here because I had to use them for like two weeks in order for me to actually type. So that is that. All right, so we've cleared everything out from this top portion. Let's go ahead and jump into the first drawer. All right, so this first drawer, I want to switch out quite a few things. I want to switch out this ColourPop concealer. I feel like I'm using it a lot, not only as a concealer, but as an eye primer. So I want to move this out. I also want to switch out this illuminating primer from Shop Miss A's AOA Studio. We're going to switch that out. I also want to move this out. This is the Charlotte Tilbury um, color corrector. We're going to keep this elf make me mad because I need it. And then for under eye powder, I've actually, I hate that I like it so much, but I really, really liked this Givenchy powder. I put my whole review on Influencer and on Sephora's website, but it's, oh, I hate how much I like this powder, guys. I really hate it, <laughs> but it's a great powder. It's even better than the Natasha Denona that I said that I loved so much. So yeah, so I, I want to save this for a bit, not use the whole thing up in one go. So we're going to put that away and I'm going to keep using this loose powder from 
Luna, is this Lunatic Cosmetics? No, this is from Notoriously Morbid. We're gonna use this loose powder and I've got my little poof poof right there. I really like this rose face oil. I've been using it the entire last month and I really like it. So I wanna keep that in along with the Tarte uh, concealer. It's a tiny little sample, so I really just want to use that up. Uh, I, I want to move out this um, Estee Lauder Double Wear because it's just a little too heavy for me to be using like every day now. So I'm going to move that out. And I'm going to keep in, this is actually a new foundation to my collection. I bought this online. This is the Stellar Foundation. Uh, this is the Stellar Foundation in the shade L01. I bought this on Depop. So I'm going to keep that along with my white mixer and I really want to keep this ColourPop foundation. I really want to finish this. Like you can see through it. Like it's almost empty. I just want to finish this up. So I want to keep this in here until I can finish it. So we are going to leave the drawer like that. Drawer number two. There's going to be quite a few changes here. So let's jump right in. I'm going to keep this brow gel, this palette, these loose shadows because those are all part of my HP Project Pan. I'm going to move out this Kaja cheek set and this ColourPop Super Shock shadow. Along with that I want to move, okay so this is a highlighter that is in my HP Project Pan that's going to stay, but I want to move out this Smashbox face palette. I want to stick to individually packed uh, face products because I did do a palette for the last month. I'm trying to alternate one month face palette, one month individuals. So I'm trying to do that. So I'm going to move this one out for this month. Again, with these Profusion highlights, they were really pretty, but I want to go for something different. So we're going to move that out. I want to keep this in. This is a Milani face powder in the shade 4 that I've been using as a bronzer, but it's almost like it's almost gone. Like I, I want to just pan this. I might repress it tonight or tomorrow just to like actually <laughs> get it to the point where I can finally finish it up but I've had this for so long and I really just want to finish it. Next these lashes I have to admit I did not use once so I want to keep them in here at least until I use them. These are from the AOA studio the Shop and Save brand and then here we've got some exciting things to talk about. So this is a face powder I repressed. This is a combination of the Balm face powder and a Smashbox face powder. And then the using the empty Smashbox pan, I made a freaking blush using a bunch of different eyeshadows from my pan that palette, the Blood Sugar palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I actually really like this blush so much that I bought a few empty pans on Amazon and I'm waiting for those to come in so I can recreate a blush palette with a bunch of my shades from that pan that palette so that will be coming soon and until then i really want to keep this blush in here and this franken you know just face powder in here so that is everything for drawer number two for drawer number three we are of course keeping the green brown palette as that is in my project pan and we're going to move out these two palettes because i feel like i've gotten a decent amount of use out of them and i want to reach you something else so we've got the Lorac pro chocolate fox palette and then the ace beauté oceanic palette and we will just keep this right there the last drawer that we have is just my pan that palette or not pan that palette my hp project pan a notebook along with some poof poofs and all of the uh glitters that i use and I, I'm gonna put it on my schedule. I need to make a video about these so I can move them out because I actually hate these elf glitters. They're really not good. They're terrible. So I, I am gonna do a video eventually uh, and I hope you guys will hold me to it but I am gonna put it on my schedule and that's why I'm keeping them there and it's just become like this thing every month. They're just there but like I know they're not good. I need to do a video. I, I will make that a priority in like August or September to make sure I get that video out so I can get these out of my collection. So that is everything to clean out my current makeup basket. I'm going to go ahead and put all this back into my makeup collection and then we will be back to shop my stash. Welcome to my makeup collection. We have a little bit of a change here I think um, but I first want to go into some new products that I picked up from an indie brand from the UK. This is called Crow and Pebble and I really want to move these products into my everyday makeup baskets. So we're going to do those first. So I picked up four loose blushes from this brand because they were super affordable and very very pretty. So I know the light isn't the best, but here we have some a little bit of natural lighting. These are the four loose blushes that I picked up. They are all gorgeous, and I cannot wait to try them out. I've only swatched a couple of them so far, and I can't—I honestly, I'm so shocked and happy, and I can't wait to try them. So these are all going to go into my basket. 
Also from that same brand, Crow and Pebble, I picked up two loose highlighters, one full size and one mini like little sample size. So I also wanna move these into my everyday makeup basket. So we've got blush and we've got highlighter. Last but not least, I actually picked up two eyeshadow primers from Crow and Pebble as well. One in a stark white and then one in like a nice beige shade. I, you know, I want to move the beige shade in first. We'll use this beige shade one first and we'll see how it works and then we'll move in the white one if I like it. The white one will go into my single eyeshadow drawer right there. Since we already have blush and highlighter, let's move in to pick out the rest of what we need. These are, of course, all of my little makeup sponges that I love. Uh, my favorite is, of course, the Shop Miss A $1 sponge. I am an affiliate, so if you guys are interested in picking up anything from Shop Miss A, there is an affiliate link in the description box. Please do not feel obligated to use that, but it is there if you are interested and you want to provide just a slight kickback. It's literally like a single uh, digit percentage kickback that I get. It's not really that much. I just love um, promoting such a great uh, affordable brand to you guys. These are all tapes that I use for swatching and then these are all of my nail care products. I've got some cuticle tweezers, I've got tweezers, I've got uh, nail files, I've got uh, face razors, just kind of everything right there. Moving into my single eyeshadow drawer, I moved, actually did, I didn't show them here, but I did get quite a few single loose shadows from Crow and Pebble as well, but I have a different idea for those. I really want to do a separate video for them, so I'm going to keep them in here until I have time to do that. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to pick anything new from here, because I think I have plenty of shadows individual shadows to choose from and I do want to pick a different palette to play with for this month <laughs> this I can't even hold this up quite honestly this drawer needs to be cleaned out I do not use any or most of these liners I have liners and mascaras in here and I, I might save it and do a declutter video but for right now the only thing I could think of that I would actually use is this liquid liner from MAC so here is a brown liquid liner from MAC I'll just bring this into use Again, I feel like I really need to clean this drawer out, but I don't know if I'm ready to do a, a declutter of my whole collection. I might just declutter this drawer. Let me know if you guys want to see that in a video down below. Down here we have lashes, and I already have a pair of lashes in there, so we're not going to do those. Down here we have liquid shadows and glitters, and we're going to keep those the same until I can actually do that video so I can swap out those elf glitters, blah, blah, blah. Here I have setting sprays, and I'm waiting until I finish the setting sprays that I have before I move those in. Down here we have all my lip products, lip liners, some lipstick, not lipsticks, but some lip, uh, chap, chap sticks. Oh my god, that was so hard. Chap sticks. <laughs> so I don't think I need anything from there. Here we have concealer. So for concealer, I really want to bring in one of these because I have quite a few of them now and then none of them are open. These are the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind or Eraser concealers and these are great and I just got one on hella sale there's actually a Walgreens right down the street for me that is closing I'm, I'm really sad to see them close but because they're closing at the end of the month all of their stock is on sale like this was like two dollars <laughs> if that it's like less than half off or more than half off um, so I did pick up a couple of different products you'll see them in the next drawer actually or the next drawer after that but I really do want to use this because it is getting you know hot to the point where it's like excessive and this is my favorite concealer to use in the hot months moving on to primer I do still have the uh, Milani uh, oil so other than that what do I want to use? I think I'm going to use the Matte Putty Primer from e.l.f. because it's July and August and it's disgusting. Um, and I think that's good along with the oil. I might try those together and see how those work. For face powders, I feel like I don't need to pick too much for face powders or bronzer because I do have that bronzer still and the face powder still. Um, I did mention before that the Walgreens by me was closing so I did pick up another one of these stay matte powders because they were literally a dollar. The powders were a dollar. I got the last one. <laughs> so I think I'm good on um, bronzers for a bit at least. At least until I finish the Milani powder that I have in my everyday makeup basket. Now I don't want to be too boring but for blush I, I have some ideas. I, I really want to make a couple of Franken blushes using my blood sugar palette and I did just get all those loose blushes from um, Crow and Pebble. So we're going to leave the blush drawer alone for this month. 
And of course, down here is just all of my electronics. So let's go ahead and move into the actual Alex drawers. All right, so honestly, in this first drawer, we really don't need anything, except, you know what, maybe, well, let's pull these out. In this top drawer, I namely just keep my, like, makeup wipes, my Q-tips, my color switch, and then all of my individually uh, depotted or loose, like, face products. But I also keep my samples, and the only two samples I currently have, like, left are these two lipstick. Basically, they're just, like, tiny little samples of lipstick you can use just to see what the shade is. And since I have not been wearing lipstick at all recently, the least I can do is go through these and actually see whether or not I like these shades. You know, it'll be a learning experience. I'll move these into my collection or into my video makeup basket to actually see if I like any of these. So I've got a Charlotte Tilbury, a Matte Revolution, and Kissing a lipstick sample set. And then I've got this set from MAC, which has Hug Me, Mocha, and Velvet Teddy. Everything else up here, we really don't need for now. So I'm just gonna put my little Totoro fan back in and we'll move on to the next drawer. So this drawer, we've got all of my loose powders, my two air spuns and my Givenchy. I've got this empty lash container and this empty palette. And then we've got my foundations. I wanna move in one other foundation to use once the ColourPop one is empty. Cause I honestly, I think that ColourPop one is only gonna last me another like day or two. I think it's almost empty. So what do I want to use? Let's bring in the MAC one. So I will bring in this MAC Studio Fix Fluid in the shade NW13. And I think that is it for this drawer. So let's move on to the highlighter drawer. Now, we've already pulled in two loose highlighters. I really don't think I need another highlighter like on top of it. I was thinking of bringing in a, like the this highlighter, like the stick highlighter. Yeah, let's do that. Let's bring in my only stick gel-ish highlighter, and this is from Iconic Beauty. So the lipstick drawer, <laughs> as we so uh, gracefully opened. Um, I really have not been wearing, 2020 was the year that I barely wore lipstick. Like really, barely. <laughs> I brought in those sample sticks, so I really don't know if there's anything else I really want to bring in. I just have not been wearing lipstick. Has anyone else been experiencing this? Because, uh, like, I feel sad that I have all these lipsticks and I'm just not using them, but, like, really, I don't want to wear lipstick now. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to say this. I might do a big declutter series in the fall, and a lot of this may be going. And since I brought those, uh, I've got a couple of lipsticks already, and I've got the sample lipsticks, I think I'm just going to leave this as is. All right, so for face palettes, honestly, I, I have individually packed individual, like, products for everything, so I really don't think I need a face palette right now. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave face palettes for now, and I'll pick a face palette for uh, next month. So let's go ahead and move over to the eyeshadow palette bookshelf. All right, so here we are. We are the top shelf of my eyeshadow palette bookshelf. Quite honestly, it has been a while since I did a spotlight on petite palettes. So I kind of want to look over here to see if there's a small palette I haven't used in a while so I can do a spotlight on petite palettes with it. So let me look through here and see what I can pull out. All right, so I looked through all of my smaller palettes and I think the only one I have not done a dedicated video on other than the Wet n Wild ones is this e.l.f. Mad for Matte 2. I don't think I've done a dedicated video on this, but it also is not really like the season or the time for this. This is a very fall palette and I just want to bring it in because honestly, I'm thinking about Franken shadows and mixing shadows for my Pan That palette and my HP Project Pan, so I think I'm going to bring this in for that purpose. Other than that, looking here, what else do I want to bring in? Hmm. All right, and surprising even to myself, I want to bring in this Alyssa Edwards ABH palette because I've really barely touched it. And I, thinking of Franken shadows, thinking of what I can do with these shades, I want to bring this in. I think it'd be fun to bring in, especially now. So I'm going to go ahead and put all of this into my everyday makeup basket, and then we'll be back to see the final basket all put together. All right, so here we are for my final basket. The top does look a bit uh, bare. <laughs> 
but we do have the brown liner we picked. We have the lipstick and the chapstick from last month, along with the mascara, and that's about it for really up here. In drawer number one, we have our loose powder, our Make Me Matte by e.l.f., our e.l.f. Matte Putty Primer, the ColourPop uh, Tinted Moisturizer, the LA Girl uh, Pro Coverage White Mixer, the Stellar Foundation, the MAC Foundation, the Milani Rose Oil, the Maybelline Concealer, and the Tarte Concealer. In the next drawer, we have a lot of blush. <laughs> we have our uh, HP Project Pan products. We have our go-to Maybelline color tattoo that I've been using for my brows. We have our loose shadows and our loose, uh, not loose shadows, loose highlighters and our loose blushes from Crow and Pebble. We also have the little samples of the lipsticks from MAC and from Charlotte Tilbury in here. We have our repressed face powder and our new Franken blush. We also have our bronzer from Milani right over here and then all the way hidden here in the back we have the lashes from Shop Miss A. Oh and then our little glow stick highlighter. In this drawer we of course have our uh, Natasha Denona 28 green brown palette along with the Alyssa Edwards palette and the e.l.f. Uh, Mad for Matte 2 palette. And then you know surprising no one bottom shelf slash drawer is unchanged for now so that is it for my august everyday makeup basket let me know what you guys are going to be using in august and if you're struggling as much in the summer as i am because i've seen so many people thriving and loving summer i feel like i'm one of the only people who hates summer and just loves the winter even if it snows and i have to shovel i'll take winter any day over the summer. I hate the summer so much. So let me know if you're also struggling and also what you're going to be using in August. Thank you guys so much for watching and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.